You know, hey, speaking of which, Paul, were you watching your your New yeah, York yeah, Yankees? Yes. You know what? Here's the thing. Not only was I watching it, but mm -hmm. I knew you were watching it without us talking. I, I felt it was like the force. I felt Bill watching it. I was watching it. And here was my problem. Here was my problem. OK, and, and it, it just bugs me. It, this is what bugged me. I'm watching it. I know Bill's watching it. And, and when they started chanting Yankees suck, I'm like, okay, you know, we, we chant shit. The worst know? chant in, in, in fucking sports. They don't suck. They have 27 championships. Why don't, Just that's what I was saying. That. Why don't, when you're, when you're booing a, a, a good team, why not like fuck the, that team. Like, fuck the, the I like well, they all do it Paul that's like when you guys were so used to for some reason you guys can't get out of the cadence of ba 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 because of 1918 no but isn't that a so baseball you guys cadence? came back and said Boston sucks you, like you couldn't even pick a two syllable word the, you the, dumb fuck the, the syllables are so no I think it's a baseball thing the ba 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 it ba. isn't it isn't you guys are chimps and you fucking yelled that rhythm for fucking 70 years at us and you can't get out of it. <laughs> you're like Chubby Checker. You sang the twist and now you're trying to do twist again like we did last summer. You know what I didn't like it last night was- It would be Boston when... sucks. That's how it would be. Da, 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 you dumb fucks. I want fuck the Red Sox, fuck the Eagles. Like, I don't like the whole, you sucks. They don't suck. They're a professional team. They don't fucking suck. Nobody sucks. No, they don't suck when you almost have 60 wins before the fucking all-star no, break. 60. You might even have 60. We have. We're 61 and 20. You know what was annoying me, though, is when they, when, they, when they did the national game, which, thank God, we fucking showed up. They sat there going, like, talking about how we lost the first two games. They didn't even bring up the fact that our entire starting rotation is in Worcester right now. We started four rookies, Paul, at pitching against a team that's number one in offense, and number one in, in, in not giving up runs. I mean, we're going up against a juggernaut. We, and the fact that we only lost by one, got smoked in the second game, is fucking amazing. But these fucking assholes just start the game, and they're just like, Boston down zero to two, and a much-needed... I'll tell you who's letting himself go, dude, is Alex Cora. He just keeps wearing a bigger fucking Red Sox smock. You can just see it. I'll tell you, yeah, it's so weird. Like he's eating sunflower seeds during the game. I don't know what he's eating after that, Paul. He's not. He's not going to age well. You could tell. But what bothered me was when Rizzo. We got caught at third. We got aggressive and we did a hit and run, and he got caught at third. And I remember going. They're starting with a guy on second. A home run ties the game. If they get two base hits, we're going to lose this game. And they were like, "Oh, the Yankees are being aggressive. Two runs is not. Two runs is nothing at Fenway Park. Aaron Boone should know that." So that bothered me. And when you guys got us at third, I knew that there was going to be a problem. And Paul, you're acting like you're losing the series. You're probably going to win tonight. We got some other fucking guy that was, you know, scratching his ass oh, in no, Springfield no. two weeks ago. No, no, listen, I love, dude. I've been, I mean, dude. dude this is how much better you guys are this year. The first game you, you put 50 home runs on the bench. Basically, <laughs> you, had, you had fucking... <laughs> Uh, Rizzo and, uh, uh, and Judge. Aaron Judge were sitting yeah. there. I'll tell you who I do like. I like that state trooper looking guy who doesn't wear bat batting gloves. Crawford. Oh, uh, Matt, Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter. There you go with the savage mustache. They were, they were saying he looks like Don Mattingly. That guy's Ron Guidry all day. Yeah, he doesn't look like Mattingly. Mattingly At all. He's, he's wiry. Yeah, he's a... Dude, that, he's guy looks like, uh, that guy looks like he did some other shit before he played baseball. You could see him putting on black gloves and taking out somebody down in the fucking Central America. And now, and now he's got his, his identity. Now he's, he plays for, for the fucking Yankees. This is what happens with the Yankees and Red Sox. The Yankees always have a guy that looked like that or like an, a not a, like not the greatest, like a, like a, like a, like a brocious. And you guys always have that fucking long hair guy, that guy that came out looking like Bon Jovi from the fucking bullpen. <laughs> that kid. You oh, guys, that, that Metallica guy, yeah. You, you guys always have a guy like that, and we always have yeah, a Paul, guy like Yeah, Paul, because you know why? Because we treat him like adults. You can wear your hair the way you want to. We don't have this stupid Yankee thing like you just joined the fucking Merchant Marines. It's the stupidest thing. It's, oh, you're not allowed to have a beard. Shut the fuck up. Well, no, we're allowed to have beards and mustaches. You're not allowed to have a beard. That's why you dopes have a bunch of mustaches Car looking like mean? the village Car people. Carpenter had a... No, there's They a made him shave it off. Who? You're Carpenter? not allowed to have facial hair. You're allowed to have a mustache. No, they're but you're in the Marines or something. You're playing baseball. It's so stupid. No, they ha oh, you can have a little the New hair. York Yankees. You're going to come here looking like you fucking work for the cops. <laughs> <laughs>
like it's so America. dumb, dude. They're banging the same whores the Red Sox are banging when they go out to fucking Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Fucking sitting there acting like you're a cut above. <laughs> dude, I got into it. I got into it with a buddy of mine, another Yankee. All my fucking friends are Yankee fans. I just, he goes, dude, with the greatest, with the greatest, 27. I go, well, I mean, all right. But it's like you won the lion's share of those before 1960. Like, what are we doing here? I, I really, I, I, dude, I really believe, like, this whole fucking thing is, I think it's more impressive what you've won since free agency, except in the NBA where they just did those pylon teams are fucking ridiculous. But like nowadays, the amount of fucking control that the players have and the fact that they're all friends and try to jump on the yeah. same team, then it comes down. I was talking about this in my podcast. It comes down to the weather, your city and the level of pussy. Is like two top tiered things. You know, we're sitting up in Boston with fucking lobster and seafood and shit. You know, maybe a six walks by when you get your bread. I mean, it's just, it's difficult. I I don't like that the players have a fucking, like a players have a laptop or the players have a tablet. You know, these guys have like tablets of algorithm or or whatever it is, statistics. And it's like, that's kind of like shitty. It's like, just go play the game, man. You know? Dude, how about now, Paul, when you go into the playoffs, if you go in as a wild card team, I might be wrong on this, but you have to win at that point, you have to win 16 playoff games, right? You got to win four, seven, three, seven yeah, game they, series. They keep adding them. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's now, that's like winning a Stanley Cup. So you're basically playing potentially 28 fucking playoffs games. And back in the day, you know, if, if you had the best record in the American League, that was winning the pennant, and you just went right to the World Series. You played one series. Earlier, it was best. They used to play best five out of nine. How fucking nuts is that? And then they switched it to four out of seven. But, like, my thing is, like, the fact that human beings in the 90s and 2000s had to do steroids to break records held by guys that had, like, during the off season, he, he lays gravel gravel yeah. pavement down yeah like when when you look at like the last guy to hit 400 <laughs> was ted williams yeah okay nobody has done it since before him someone would do it every three years 20 years before that like someone would do it almost every year and before that like in the late in the 1800s like two or three people would do it in a year yeah so ted williams does it and then a couple two three years later or maybe even a year later, Jackie Robinson comes into the league and all the Pedros, CC Sabathias, Josh Gibsons, all of them, Sandy Koufax, they probably didn't let Jewish people in the fucking league back then. They all come in and all of those great hitters you had since then, none of them have been able to do it. And you think about some of those hitters, dude. Um, none of them have been able to do it. The closest I think it was, was George Brett hit 390. Was the closest anybody. Did. It's just, it's a, it's a different... There's 30 fucking teams. And I'll tell you right now, dude, any team today would beat the shit out of any team 100 fucking years ago in any sport. It'd well, beat you the know, shit uh, out of them. Even, even if they had the same physiques, like there yeah. wasn't nutrition or anything, like that. it's just the, uh, the, just the sheer knowledge and all the fucking information. Yeah. I mean, it, was and, a glorif- it, was like, it was like a Sandlot League. You'd have a uh, guy fucking, you're, you're, you're playing a doubleheader. Hey, Paul, you're pitching today. First game? No, the whole day. You're throwing 18 innings and you just go out there, <laughs> throw it against crazy leg um, Johnson who works at fucking Home Depot every yeah, other weekend. <laughs> crazy leg. You know, it's funny you said that because Tony Gwynn rest his soul. Tony Gwynn goes, dude, when I played baseball, one guy threw 98. Now everybody coming out of the pen is 101, 99. This guy's got a fucking 98 mile an hour slider. Like every, and they have dude, there's, there's dads. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah. There's, there's fathers out there living some dream through their eight-year-old son that probably know more about today's MLB. They have more statistics in their fucking head and at their grasp with the laptop than any scout a hundred years ago. It's fucking insane. And then they have all of these, dude, they send them to like fucking camps, you know, learn, teach a kid how to throw a fucking curveball. Like it's, it's insane. I saw a guy the other night, I I actually retweeted it. I never seen a ball move like this. Oh, I saw I, that. I saw you what you that? posted. Dude, it it yeah. came in and then went back out towards the hitter, a left-handed Dude. hitter. It broke right and then went left. And then that's just, it's like, what the fuck? I saw, I saw that. And uh, we got a guy, King. 
we got a guy King whose curveball literally just and Lucas was just like so like, that's like a wiffle ball like it's nuts what they do now. Who's that guy? I love that guy that you guys have that pitched the second game that literally looks like some dad that be be eating ice cream out of like one of those plastic helmets you get on helmet day. Oh, is it Nestor Cortez? He got a mustache oh. or no? Oh my god, I love that guy. Yeah. He's like a fan favorite because he's like just hilarious. Because he looks like us. Yeah. Dude, that's why back in the day I I loved David Wells, CC Sebastia. I mean, I hate the Yankees, but individually when I see a player, I'm like, that guy just like CC Sebastia, he just looked like a baseball player. And I love those guys when they come, they got the big baggy uniform. They're like yeah. in a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Scott Brocious. Uh, huh? <laughs> Scott Brocious looked like he sold insurance. Oh yeah. But yeah. he still had like a physique. He he wasn't like an out of shape. I I mean like a guy has like a fat face. He looks like he goes to Dunkin' Donuts in the morning, and gets like an iced coffee. What are you doing today? Oh, pitching. I gotta warm up. <laughs> <laughs> right after this curler, am I right? You know, I just there's just yeah. something funny about that. But yeah. I gotta tell you though, dude. Who, what's the name of the guy who looks like the state trooper on your team? Uh, Matt Carpenter. I fucking love that guy, dude. The guy goes up. He has no batting gloves on. He's got a porno mustache from like the fucking seventies. And then yeah. you got another one of you guys. He's built like Paul Bunyan. And he's like, I think this is bullshit. Those big ass fucking guys that hit home runs and they come up with that fucking medieval sleeve and the thing on yeah. their shin and, and this stuff here. And they're hanging all out over the plate. Yeah. And you can't bean them or you get warned or all of that. Did you see the thing I retweeted about Hawk Harrelson? No. Dude, Hawk Harrelson said back in the day, if somebody beamed him, he goes, yeah, I never charged the mound. He goes, what are you going to do? It's going to get broken up. He goes, if I was really pissed at a guy, I'd wait for him at the end of the game. And he goes, and I'd beat the shit out of him, the other pitcher. And the guys in the podcast are like, you did that? He goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's another thing, dude. Like the level of scrutiny that's involved now. Like if some guy waited for another dude, another team, and beat the shit out of him, it's like during the ass kicking, we would uh, we would already know it was happening. Oh, he just so did great. it, and then it probably went around the league. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that Harrelson guy. <laughs> that's I'm telling you, if you beat him, take a different take a different exit out of the fucking locker room, dude. That's some real gangster shit. Like that's real man shit right there. It's like, no, we're not gonna have a little let it be broken up. We're going to, we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to see you somewhere and I'm going to beat the shit out of you in the parking lot, dude. And literally do it. That's gangster, man. My favorite guy though. What was that guy on the reds who just went over and he fought the other team, just fought the whole fucking team. He put his hand up like this as they were taking him out of the game. This guy on YouTube does this great thing. Like, yeah, I'm going to beat the, she's like doing like saying like allegedly what he said. Obviously he did. He's like, yeah, I'm going to go beat the fuck out of those guys. He's like, all right, you're out of the game. He goes, cool. And he just ran over to the other team's bench and started fucking swinging. And he was huge. Wow. Fucking huge. Yeah, now that guy, there's a guy that I say he could play in any era. Of course, they wouldn't have let him back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, oh, <laughs> I, like, I, like, uh, I like how long baseball takes. You know, I got friends and people talking shit. Oh, it sucks. It needs to speed it up. Kids only. I actually do like when I'm sitting down and watching a three hour. I love sports. Why do I want it to be over? Do you know what I mean? You know, I don't want it to be over. People who say baseball is too slow. You know what they are, Paul? They're, they're morons. They want everything like now. And I'm not saying that like necessarily stupid, but those are like iPad, iPhone yeah. fucking people. So you don't like scroll, baseball. Scroll, yeah, it's scroll. Yeah, yeah. They like. Those are also people that looked at that Chiefs Bills game last year and were like, that's the greatest playoff game I've ever seen. With the most atrocious defense I think I've ever seen in an NFL game, forget about a playoff game. Um, oh my God. Can you imagine Ray Lewis watching that game? Dude, 13 seconds. He probably threw his fucking L shaped couch off his balcony. <laughs> dude, 13 dude, seconds. It was a fucking disgrace and they've had a lot of those games dude the patriots eagles super bowl i still to this day maintain that whoever wins that game i said in the middle of the game whoever plays on defense should not get a fucking ring except that for was, the guy who caused the fumble to, to seal it for the eagles that was one of the weirdest honor super everyone. bowls i've ever seen in my life i was just saying something's wrong here not wrong but it was just like it was fucking like a video game man it was weird it was yeah, like, it was like both teams were in the prevent defense the whole game. Guys just throwing I don't bombs. Think one of us didn't punt until the second quarter. <laughs> no, it was weird, man. Like, the punt is on his cell phone. No, Mom, I'm telling you, I'm in the game. I, <laughs> I'm going to get in. You know, they're going to get a stop here. 
Yeah, I was. Dude, I just told that. everyone you were playing and you haven't been on. Uh, and I was telling him you have a really good leg. <laughs> he could kick. I'm telling you, he's good. Um, it'd be funny if he had like a badass mom. Your son plays for the team. Nah, he's just a fucking punter. <laughs> <laughs> um, 